with 8,000 kilometers of coastline. It is but natural that seafood is one of the main industries of India. In the marine production map, India stands fourth and the seafood industry has contributed to 1.04% of the total national GDP. India's marine production increased from a mere 0.5 million tons in the 1950s to nearly 3 million tons in 2006. This quantum leap was largely made possible by the timely scientific inputs and guidance provided by the dedicated team of scientists of CMFRI, ensuring the sustainability of marine life even while increasing production. CMFRI achieved this enviable feat through its vast network of regional, research and field centers and state-of-the-art equipments and facilities, reaching even the remotest fisher villages, ensuring proper marine fisheries management. Scientists of CMFRI have studied the biology and distribution of fishes in the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal and have evolved complex mathematical exercises to assess the stock of fishes in our seas. Additionally, to increase production, scientists of CMFRI have developed mariculture as a new production system from the sea. Through mariculture of green mussels and oysters, CMFRI has scripted a coastal revolution. The production of farm mussels and oysters has increased from an absolute zero in 1996 to more than 12,000 tons within a few years. This was achieved mainly through women self-help groups in coastal villages. Notable technological achievements were made in the areas of breeding, hatchery, seed production and grow art culture of a number of organisms such as shrimps, lobsters, crabs, mussels, oysters, sea cucumbers, seaweeds, ornamental fishes and other food fishes. Biotechnological research by scientists of CMFRI has led to innovative tools in the diagnosis and management of different diseases and formulation of new diets for farmed marine species. Molecular taxonomy has opened new vistas in the identification of endangered marine animals and other marine species. The real success of CMFRI is thanks to the fact that the scientific know-how that were evolved in the laboratories of CMFRI were successfully translated into practical solutions for fisher folk through constant interaction and training. Marine biodiversity of the country is an asset which should be enjoyed by future generations. Towards this, scientists of CMFRI have devised methods to conserve highly exploited marine species and have developed communication tools for implementing FAO's Code of Conduct for Responsible Fisheries. Yay!
सौ दो सौ पांच सौ हजार दो हजार पांच हजार बहुत टॉलिंग जीत करती जावे पिछल के बाग में कुछ भी नहीं रहता वो छोटी जाली इतना इतना जाली कि मैं मच्छी सब बेचा उसका सब बच्चा मार डालता है वो बंद करो और सरकार बंद करे तो दरिया के अंदर उत्पादन खूब बढ़ जावे climate change will have serious impact on the country's food security scientists at cmfri have made investigations on the impact and the adaptive capacity of marine fish to climate change and have predicted the increasing occurrence of coral bleaching events in indian seas by the year 2050 The institute also proposes to address issues related to marine ecosystem modeling and valuation of ecosystem services with a view to sustain the marine fish production of the country. Open sea mariculture of high value species is a new area that the institute is looking at to increase production from our seas. As it has done for the last 6 decades, CMFRI continues its quest for knowledge and innovations. hand in hand with a multitude of fisher folk of the country ensuring a sustainable future for both the marine life and the lives depending on them cmfri continues its saga of accomplishments the success of protecting the success of conservation the success of helping coastal people of the country